Hi, um, I'm Renee. Um, I had a brain injury almost six years ago. I went to the dentist and um, had an injury by compressed air, which nobody really knew about. Of course, I went through all the medical issues and therapies, occupational therapy, physical therapy, speech therapy, um, vision therapy, counseling, all the 10 million medical appointments I had to go to. Anyway, that's kind of the backstory. Um, since the injury, I kind of by accident started uh, writing a book because my husband is involved with the writer's group. And since I wasn't going to work and had all this free time, he would take me to conferences and workshops and meetings and whatnots. And I kind of got sucked into it by accident. When I started writing about it, it, was, it wasn't the traditional uh, paragraphs because I can't read to save my life um, after the injury. And I used pictures that I took and, and used an app to make them into oil paintings, also kind of by accident. And as I was working on these pictures, I could see how some of these pictures would look like what brain injury feels like. And I would screenshot them and I would write notes with it because 10 minutes later and God forbid the next day, I couldn't remember what it was that I thought and somehow ended up with the first chapter of the book. Well, there was a conference and my husband said, well, why don't you enter that in the uh, creative nonfiction contest? And I was like, yeah, right, sure. Which I did. Well, Lo and behold, I won. Um, out of the nine entries, I won. And I was like, yeah, sure. If that's the standard of the contest, because the one with the brain injury won, hmm, I wonder about that. Anyway, and then people kept on asking me, so what about the book? What about the book? Are you writing your memoir? And I said, yeah, 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 I am. And then I was like, well, I guess I better. And I really got motivated by what I read on Facebook in the brain injury support groups, how people were discouraged about how hard it is to explain an invisible brain injury because nobody can see it and they can't tell and you're having a lousy day, but nobody can tell. And it's really hard to describe it and explain it because other people think you're making it up, you're exaggerating because you were fine yesterday. Why aren't you doing good today? And all the factors that go into what kind of day you have, like maybe it's raining and the weather changed, or you went to a restaurant the night before and the next day it feels like somebody beat you up with a, um, a baseball bat. So, yeah, anyway, so I kind of stuck with it and I had somebody encourage me and a friend read the manuscript and gave me some feedback and I finished writing the manuscript and submitted it to a publisher. However, the publisher wanted to um, wanted me to sign away some rights about the book, and it wasn't in my best interest to pursue that contract with them. And uh, one of the people in the writers groups told my husband, "Well, you know how to publish a book. You've published six books. Why don't you help her?" I was like, "Okay, sure." Anyway. So I had to start figuring out how exactly it is that you do these things and then you get told what to do and then you have to figure out how to do it. I got to tell you that when you're pursuing this kind of activity, guaranteed you're going to have like 10 heart attacks every day. You will swear a lot. So this is, this is what the book looks like. Uh, I hope it's not going to be backwards. Can you see that? It's kind of reflecting. Anyway, it's called Living, Living in Bill. What a... Uh, invisible brain injury feels like. And um, I was, I am now retired. I was an occupational therapist and it really helped me to have the right kind of approach to explain um, all these symptoms that we have, all these problems that we have. Well, now thank God the book is done and I can stop swearing for now. Um, I'm, I'm about to leave on a road trip. It was supposed to be tomorrow, but it's not anymore. It's now going to be Friday because uh, I'm not quite caught up with everything. Anyway, so I actually, I travel in a minivan and the book is actually uh, 
84 days of a road trip that I took by myself um, after my husband helped me to modify the van with putting a bed and a fridge and solar and batteries and uh, all kinds of things that I forgot the words now. But anyway, so I'm going on another road trip. Um, it's probably going to take another two and a half months because I have this bucket list of things that I want to go do because I feel now that I'm done with the book, I don't have to be so scared of life because you tend to be scared of doing things. You think you can do them or you're, you're afraid you're going to fail. Well, got this list of places that I want to go. A lot of them are places that the first time around when I went, I, I bailed on it because I was too scared to do it or I just did a part of it and I didn't quite feel like I accomplished what I wanted to do. Anyway, so this road trip is going to be um, overcoming fear and finding courage or something, something like that. Anyway, so, and I had a kind of a, a mini book signing um, this morning. Um, but uh, on Friday, I'm running away from home and I'm going to Death Valley. <laughs>